A mini project for today is to um, put some electric fencing up to entice our little pony Tyson to come and use his new field shelter. So I'm reusing all the parts that I was using for the chicken coop automated door, which was a failure. So this little solar panel, um, also I'm using the uh, charge controller unit that takes the power from the solar panel and manages that um, battery management system basically to uh, charge the 12 volt battery. I have upgraded the 12 volt battery slightly larger, it's a um, lawnmower battery. That then goes into a, a new field charger that puts 2000 odd volts onto the fence. I'm also using an output from the, the uh, charge controller, an extra 12 volts, so I'm going to keep that spare and hopefully when we get the uh, water pump and the IBC container water system, I'll use that to power the water pump. I'm hoping it'll have enough oomph to do that as well as the, uh, the fence. Ian's going to fix the unit to this far corner of the shelter. Uh, it's out of view from anybody and also it's um, a nice dry spot instead of being on the outside wall. I'll just put together this little box to hold the battery, the charge controller and the fence energizer. I don't know, Hot Shock A15 it's called. Um, 9,000 volt max and we're only having a short fence so it probably will be that uh, that power I've also put on a switch here. It's um, from a My car uh, we do a little bit of rally and this would be normally to uh, shut the 12 volt battery off to the car in case of an accident So I'll put that on so we can switch that For the power to the fence I've got it. You got it? Can you get it? I've got it. All right. So I'm just installing the solar panel wires now. So just connecting the negative and now connecting the positive and the little solar emblems come up showing that there's charge from the sun. So this little emblem here is the solar, that's the battery and the little light bulb is the uh, load. And in this case, well, I've got my little switch is broken here. Um, hence me putting on this switch here, just so any of us can come in and turn the fence on and off. Because when I do put the pump or other things on this little unit, I want the fence uh, independent. So we're not always turning off everything. So I think that's uh, good to go. We're gonna go off into the field now put in the earth rod and then put the fence across. Just going to install the uh, earth rod. I had one in the garage, so I'm going to place it just about here, attach the, um, the earth cable, which is the blue one on ours, to that. So the live cable will come onto this post here where the fence will start from and that will go straight along just as a feeder cable and then the fence will go across the field.
So the live from the uh, the box is this this wire here, the brown wire. Connected it to a little metal plate that's basically an interconnect for the wire fence. So I've wrapped this around a couple of times. It'll now go into this little plastic insulator block. Just take that off. So it sits in there. The insulator block then compresses it and that's our connection. Let's walk up to Pappy. Let's walk up to Pappy and we'll give Tyson a carrot, yeah? I know. Come on then. Look at that, look at that! <laughs> My go! <laughs> Pappy throwing snails. Village gardener busy trimming all the edges of the lanes. That's for Tyson! Stop him getting a fat belly! This way! Uh, I don't think it's going to be much help this morning. Where are you heading? Got two limes and we'll have a third going along again in a moment. And there's our little farmer for the day, Margot. She knows I've taken the key out, she's a little madam. Let's try it down there. Here's the key. I've never showed you this, I love this key. Oh, oh, she even fell out with Tyson now. Yeah. Come on. He's had enough of the flies. <laughs> no bubbles. It's not very squishy. Margot Blow, good girl. I've got the feeder line here, all the way from the uh, the field shelter where the battery and everything else is, coming down to here. It's uh, isolated from the wooden post with these units here, and I've got it connecting just across. There's probably a good connection there, but uh, I've just added an extra strand of wire and then it attaches to the three wires there, which then go right across the field. All of this to try and persuade him to use the field shelter I built for him. So we're getting 12.8 volts now. It started off 12.5, so um, the solar panel is working pretty well. It's a tiny little unit, it's a 10 watt solar unit, so... Mm, it's red hot today as well. So this little tail I've left here, I'm going to put a junction box just there. That will sit in the junction box and then if I want to run any 12 volt LEDs off it or the actual uh, water pump, 
which will be just the other side of this wall, I can just run things into there. But for now, I've just um, put some tape on the it. river. Well, we've just come down to the river, and uh, it's been eroded quite badly. And um, right, this is where the bank was here. And uh, we run down here quite regularly and thought, my gosh, you know, this trail is getting smaller and smaller. But they have now reclaimed all this section to uh, divert the river around. Because as you can see, the road is only just, just here. You can see it there. So uh, hopefully they'll fill all this in and we'll be able to run on this instead of next to the road. One little flick. Dink. Oh. And I wouldn't have to have a trip to Switzerland. Dink. shelter all day today so that's been brilliant not been overly sunny today so he's not had his mask on well I think the electric fence worked um, we shut off the fence just here to make it a lot smaller and it's encouraged Tyson into the shelter for the first time I think he spent the last two nights in here actually so um, that's good news because it's keeping the flies off him and it's been really, really hot here. It's been about 35 degrees Celsius here. So um, at last he's got some sense instead of standing normally just, where are we? On this post, this pylon here, he normally has his head up against the pylon all day. Good news. have some light in the polytunnel so uh, keeps going off though so we can at least uh, work in the cool now 10 o'clock 10 o'clock at night and it's a lot lot cooler 